ओके सो नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिक पावर सो वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी जस्ट नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस द टोटल वर्क डन बाय अ करेंट इन एन इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी मीन्स दैट एनर्जी कैसे बोलते हैं वॉट इज एनर्जी द रेट ऑफ डूइंग वर्क इज डिफाइनिंग योर एनर्जी राइट सो If I will ask you that when you are eating food, that time you have an energy to do the work. So the total work done by a current in an electric circuit is called electrical energy. What is electrical power? If I will ask you simple power definition, you will say to me, what is power? Power is equals to work per unit time, right? Or we can say the rate of doing work is known as power. So power formula we have P is equals to W upon T. So we can define the power is it is a ratio of the work per unit time. Or we can say the rate at which the work is done by an electric current is called the electric power, right? Now. Here it is the rate and there it is total work done. Don't get confused in electrical energy and electrical power. Both are quite similar. But here it is total work done by the current in the circuit and here at which rate we are doing. Power kaise hota? Energy. Understand this. Aapne khana khaya and you have a ability to do the work. But you have noticed two persons suppose. One person is showing Uh, is able to do suppose uh, two person are there okay we will take the example suppose two person are there one day the one person name is ronnie and the another person name is tony okay so both have eaten two chapatis they both have eat two chapatis when they have eat two chapatis what will happen they both have gained the same amount of energy but now the tony is doing work for 1 hour by eating two chapati but the ronny is doing the same work for 2 hours okay so the rate of doing work how fast or how slow that will tell your electric power and the uh, energy or the total work done by the current is known as its energy so you understand i hope the rate at which the electrical energy consumed or dissipated is called electric power so what is power that is work per unit time okay so now we are going to see some formulas related to power okay so we will start seeing those formulas for electric power just now we have seen what is power power is defined as work done per unit time from the joule's law you have got the formula for this work what is that you remember you have remember that how i have got this that is w upon q right you remember this is how i have obtained this relation i'll write it down like this you will remember we know that v is equals to what w upon q so what will be w w will be v into q and what is q if you remember q means i into t right these things you remember right so what will be the formula p is equals to i can write here v i t I can write it down here V I T क्योंकि Q की वैल्यू क्या है I T so I can write P is equals to V I T upon T T से T will get cancel so one formula for power is V I this is my first formula for power correct now Ohm's law what Ohm's law says V is equals to I R right so again I can use this formula I into R into I so what I will get I square R this will be my the second formula for the power right third formula what i can write you know that here i can find i is equals to what it will be v upon r yahan substitute karo aap p is equals to what it will be v square upon r into r i square r se r get cancels you have the another formula v square upon r like this you can find out so how many formulas of power you have got V I I square R V square upon R like this you can calculate the formulas of the power. Now the question come what is the unit of the power? So the SI unit of power is what? What is the SI unit of power is what? It is denoted by capital W. It is the SI unit of power which is called what? Okay. So now I am going to find out the what definition from this formula. Okay. So see to it. 
we have obtained P is equals to VI. So if somebody is going to ask you to define the power in watt, you will say 1 watt is equals to 1 volt into 1 ampere. Okay. 1 watt is equals to 1 volt into 1 ampere. So the SI unit of measuring the power is watt. Okay. Now, if they will ask you that what will be the its unit which we are using for the commercial purpose and all the things we are going to see to it now. Okay. Okay. So now here we will see that is the power. Okay. We have already discussed its unit. Now the bigger unit of power is kilowatt. Okay. So if you will see that if watt is given and kilowatt is given. So kilowatt is a bigger unit of watt because it is divided by 1000. Okay. Commercial unit of electrical energy. Remember if the question comes what is a commercial unit of electrical energy. So that is kilowatt hour. Aap dekhto aapke gharo mein jo bill aata hai that is comes in kilowatt hour. Or it will be about what it is board of trade unit. Okay. So what is 1 kilowatt hour? 1 kilo into 1 hour. 1 watt is 1000 means 1 kilowatt means 1000 into what? Into 3600 seconds. R we have already seen how to convert in second. So 1 kilowatt R is equals to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joules. Okay. And 10 to the power 6 means mega joule. This M it stands for mega joule. So 1 watt is equals to 1 volt into 1 ampere into 1 R. So 1 kilowatt is equals to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joules. Okay. So this is about the electric power, its units, its commercial unit, everything we have discussed in this part. Now only one small topic is left that is your electric fuse and the practical application of your heating effect of electric currents and the numericals related to this which we are going to see in the next class and we are going to finish this chapter. Thank you.